there was a great study from my university, uh, the University of Berkeley, California. And we didn't do the study. Alison Harvey did it. By the way, counting sheep, bad idea. Makes your sleep worse, it turns out. Why is that? Because, well, with every kind of little bleating cotton wool ball with a strange look on its face that leaps over the fence that you're counting, you're reinforcing every minute of sleep that you're not getting, and it seems to make matters worse. But what she found was that there's an alternative. If you think about a walk that you know in great vivid detail, so for me, it's going to be walking the dog. So I go over to the shelf, I open the door. Is it the red lead or the, I'm gonna go with the blue lead today. So I clip the dog in with my right hand. I open the door with my left hand. I take a left down the stairs. I look, it's that level of, I want you 4K detail in terms of granularity. And what's common about every method I've just described, meditation, box breathing, sort of uh, body scan, going on a mental walk, all of these things have in common that you get your mind off itself. In that particular example where she asks you to vividly think about a journey that you know, what did she find in the study? What she found is that that increases the speed with which you fall back asleep ah. significantly.